Uh, a smart decision to take this wave. You could see this one hitting the bowl. And as it stands up, Kelly, big roundhouse cutback to start things off. And another one. You can see there's more intent with this wave. There's a bit more energy into the effort. Again, beautiful roundhouse, Morno. I just love the fact that uh, he sort of moved away from coming deep around the foam ball and up into the lip and punching through it, those tail slides, and went more to the rail, sort of took it a little bit further into the bowl. <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> Fixing Kelly's hair down here. First event back here. Sorry. <laughs> Not first event back here. But first heat of the morning, heat of the event. Yep. Wow, getting your first heat win of the year. Yeah. Coming back, we missed you We missed you at uh, uh, Portugal, but wow, you're really turning it on here this morning. Talk us through that magic board. Feeling pretty good. A uh, little time off for me, and I actually worked on boards, and this is the board I was kind of working on. Um, it's what, the same one I wrote at Cura. You might have seen a couple ways I got. Yeah. Um, we were talking about that before, but... Um, it's uh, no, it's it's a Mike Wu design, and my buddy Trinko in Hawaii uh, finished it off for me, and then Steve Eichner glassed it up in a couple of days for me. So, just last second, I was able to get him before flying to Australia, and uh, feels good. Um, pretty good start, you know. I started deeper than the other than than John and Seth, and kind of played that game. And I was hoping maybe a deep one off Rincon would would line up because there's some West in the swell and. Um, I did get the first wave. It didn't really weigh into the scores, but it put me in the right sort of uh, flow, right sink to get the good waves. And yeah, amazing. And you have just uh, announced that you guys are expecting some amazing news. How is that? How's that feeling? Obviously, you guys have kept that hidden for quite some time. Yeah. But yeah. amazing to hear. We're all so absolutely stoked for you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm super happy having my second child. Kalani's first, obviously. Um, having a little boy. And uh, this this summer, well, winter, Australia, um, and I think we're going to have him in Hawaii, and uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, we've been super excited. It's been been really fun. It was fun to keep it a secret from everybody for a long time. <laughs> Even we kept it a secret from family for months, and um, and then one by one, we're telling friends and kind of filming their reactions and stuff. And it, it's just been been a fun time. Wow. And you know, back here in Bell's Beach, you absolutely love this place. Twenty seventh event. You got four bells. How good would it be to just uh, bring in another bell? Yeah, 30 years since I, uh, 30 years since my first win here. Wow. 32 years since my first event here. Uh, my first heat I ever had here was with Tom Kern and Todd Holland, and we were surfing high tide rink on like one foot. Wow. And uh, uh, it's it's good to be back. Yeah, you know, it would be, you know, a, a real dream for me to bookend it and try to win here again 30 years later. But for now, I'm just trying to enjoy the event, and enjoy the people, and. And the family. I stayed with Alan Green, who started Quicksilver, and his wife Barb. We've been staying with them. I've been staying with them now since '96. And uh, good vibes down here, you know. We have dinners at home with the family, and I got a dog there and everything. So, <laughs> um, no, but fun. Good way to start the day. Just get the jitters out. And um, you know, I don't always win heats, but when I do, I try to beat John John. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That was a stacked first heat. Go enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy this amazing time in your All life. All right. Thanks, guys.